In our last video, we explored the work of the first pioneering antiquarians of the modern age. We discussed how archaeologists Arthur Poznanski and Neil Steed, along with many other astute individual researchers, unraveled a possible key to unlocking the true purpose and indeed historical significance of the site. They concluded that the site, due to academia's reluctance to tag any ancient ruin with a date of more than 4,000 years, is the oldest ruin on Earth. The archaeologists discovered an alignment with the solstices and spring equinox, which only occurred around 17,000 years ago. However, there are many other intriguing areas of interest yet to be fully understood. Along with the volumes of photographic documentations of precise measurements, independent researchers also discovered that the site's gray stonework also possesses a curious magnetic property. The question is, if these ancient people knew of this interesting characteristic, what was the purpose of using said stone? Was the stone slowly magnetized by a technology once present at the site, now lost to history? Along with the gray stone, however, the site also contains an equal amount of red sandstone, which was used to build the site, yet this red stone does not share the enigmatic magnetism of its gray counterpart. Perhaps the sandstone is somehow immune to what was responsible. Perhaps this is why the Great Pyramids were built from sandstone, to avoid the masonry taking on this magnetic charge. Perhaps, but I digress. Puma Punku is what we like to call a smoking gun, a site which clearly displays masonry skills of its ancient constructor, precision-cut stone masonry which today could only be achieved with the use of advanced stone-cutting machinery. Shrouded in mystery, the archaeological side of Puma Punku is one of the biggest headaches for mainstream archaeology to explain. So how would an ancient culture, one which was far less capable than modern man, cut, shape, and transport from many miles away, carvings out of some of the world's toughest stone accomplished with such incredible precision? A group able to transport blocks of stone, sometimes weighing far more than 50 tons to the site, effortlessly placing them in position, often using a placement technique indicative of polygonal methodology. Interestingly, after investigating possible causes for this characteristic, it was realized that the building material was not granite, as it had long been assumed, but was in fact andesite. Andesite is the most iron-rich volcanic material we are aware of. It can contain around 15% iron oxide and can have up to 4% magnetite. Thus, the stone, it seems, could have already been displaying magnetic characteristics when placed where it now lay. Yet the question still persists. Why did this stone get selected as the building material for the temple? It was built by a civilization that brought the stone from many miles away. So, the suggestion that it was the only stone available would not be a logical conclusion. It was chosen by a group who were seemingly meticulous in their application. So, it is quite possible that the magnetic characteristic was somehow utilized by the builders. Thankfully, it is only a matter of time before Puma Punku's secrets are fully understood, and we finally discover who built it. It is a place we find highly compelling.